the, they decided to have a trade item tomorrow at the uh, blacksmith thing. Yeah. Where you make whatever the trade item is. Okay. And then everybody else comes home with somebody else's trade item. Oh, right? so this is, now so, what is, that's just called a spike, right? Or just yeah. a giant nail? So that's what that, oh. that ladle stem come out of was one of those nails. Oh, okay. Cool. So anyway, I just arrived at Bill C's house, and I'll show you how I packed my uh, Jeep here. I disassembled, for those of you that have been following me, I've been doing trailer updates, and the last thing I did was disassemble it and pack it into boxes. I think in the form it originally came back when it was bought in what, I don't know, more than 20 years ago. Uh, one big box and one small box. So let me unlock the trunk here and I'll show you. It all fit in pretty well along with the rest of my junk too. I even brought some motorcycle gear too in case there's an extra bike down there at the clubhouse but these three boxes here this one I think is for the long pieces these are for the medium pieces and then another box here the fourth box for the shorter pieces and then I left the axle out you can just barely see it here but I left the uh, this is the axle piece that goes all the way up to the front there so that's the only thing I didn't end up boxing up. Everything else is in boxes. So it did fit. And then as far as this cardboard piece, I'll show you what that's about later. That's when the stuff in the junk. But yeah, I brought all the tires included too. So I can totally assemble. Now I'm not going to put the trailer together and drive it home because that's too long of a drive on new bearings. I don't trust them until I've driven quite a ways. But anyway, we'll assemble it real quickly, just enough to get it all trued up and fix any spots that need to be fixed. And then... From there on, what we'll do is I'll re put it back in the boxes again, pack it up, and take it back home. And then I'll put the bearings back into it and test it out a little bit local to see if the bearings don't heat up or seize or anything like that. Because last place you want to have that happen is on a long trip. I don't really trust on those uh, smaller trailers like that. I don't trust the bearings until I've taken them on a few short trips. But, yep, here at uh, BC's place in the shop. And uh, not sure, they're spun you around, probably made everybody sick, but... Not sure what the project is that we're going to work on today, but we're going to work on something. And then we're going to play around tomorrow morning. Down at a place with a bunch of other blacksmiths. What's the name of the place we're going to? The Covered Bridge Blacksmith Guild. Okay. Covered, Covered Bridge Blacksmith. Nice new truck I got to ride in too. And then a nice new Chevy truck with a diesel engine. So anyway, that's my update, that's my arrival, and I'll make some more videos later when I get a chance and post them. Talk to you later. Bye.